Kung Fu Panda 4 is almost here, and fans are buzzing with excitement about what to expect in the new movie. Let's dive into a list of 10 things that fans are eagerly anticipating and see what's in store for Poe and his friends. At number 10, The Return of the Pandas. In the Kung Fu Panda universe, the pandas have had to hide for a long time due to the evil Lord Shen. But with Lord Shen gone in Kung Fu Panda 2, the pandas are finally able to come out of hiding and live their lives in the Valley of Peace and the rest of the world. Audiences have seen glimpses of the pandas' lives in the series The Paws of Destiny and at the end of Kung Fu Panda 3. However, with several villains confirmed to return in the upcoming Kung Fu Panda 4, the pandas may face danger once again and will likely need to help Poe in his quest to defeat the chameleon. It would be interesting to see how the pandas adapt to their new lives and how they interact with the rest of the world after being hidden for so long. At number 9, Poe getting a love interest. Throughout the Kung Fu Panda franchise, Poe's love life has been mostly unexplored, with only a few hints in some of the spin-off series. However, given the character growth Poe has experienced throughout the movies, it would be interesting to see him find a love interest to help him settle down. The introduction of Aquafina's character, Jen, has certainly opened up the possibility for a romantic subplot, but it's also possible that Poe could end up with another character like Tigris. Regardless of who Poe might eventually end up with, it would be a great way to add depth to his character and explore a new side of him in the upcoming movie. At number 8 More information about Poe's mother. Despite being mentioned and shown in flashbacks in Kung Fu Panda 2 and 3, Poe's mother remains a mysterious character with little known about her. We only know what Li Shan, Poe's adoptive father tells us, which is that she was smart, beautiful, and had a tremendous appetite. However, we don't know her name, her background, or much about her life other than that she gave her life for Poe. Given that DreamWorks is known for surprising its audiences with unexpected plot twists, it would be fascinating to see how Poe's journey as the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace could lead him to uncover more information about his mother. Perhaps we'll finally get to learn more about her in the upcoming movie. At number 7, Facing Familiar Foes. Since the trailer for Kung Fu Panda 4 revealed that Tai Lung will be making a comeback thanks to Chameleon's powers, it would be logical for other past villains, such as Lord Shen to return as well. Although Lord Shen was defeated in Kung Fu Panda 2 and seemingly killed by a cannon, Chameleon's abilities demonstrate that anyone can be brought back from the dead, so it's entirely possible for Lord Shen to return and face off against Po once more. In fact, Bringing back villains from both the movies and the TV series would be a clever way to remind Poe of how far he's come and how many foes he's already defeated, making the stakes even higher in this new adventure. And it seems that the director has hinted that more familiar villains will be making appearances in Kung Fu Panda 4, which is exciting news for fans of the franchise. It will be interesting to see how Poe's emotional growth continues to progress as he faces these familiar foes once again. With two more movies planned for the franchise, it seems that Poe's journey is far from over, and the return of past villains will surely provide him with more challenges and opportunities for growth. The fact that the director has chosen to bring back these familiar faces speaks to the rich history and world-building of the Kung Fu Panda universe, and it will be fascinating to see how these villains are incorporated into the story and what impact they have on Poe's character arc. At number 6, what Tai Lung has been up to since his defeat. The upcoming Kung Fu Panda 4 promises to shed light on Tai Lung's whereabouts and activities since his defeat in the first movie. After being locked away for 20 years for causing destruction in the Valley of Peace, Tai Lung was eventually defeated by Po and sent to the spirit realm. However, the details of his time there are unknown, and the movie should reveal what he's been up to since then. Additionally, it would be interesting to explore the concept that the spirit realm may no longer be a permanent solution for containing villains like Tai Lung. This could add a new layer of danger and unpredictability to the story, and it will be fascinating to see how Tai Lung's return affects the Valley of Peace and how Poe and his friends deal with the threat he poses. At number 5, what the Furious Five are up to. Even though they didn't appear in the trailer, the Furious Five have been confirmed to return in Kung Fu Panda 4, albeit in a minor role. Given their importance in the TV series and previous movies, it would be a shame to see them relegated to the background, 
but it seems that they will still be supporting Poe in his journey as Dragon Warrior. Since each member of the Furious Five is pursuing their own individual journeys, the movie may focus on Poe's solo adventures while still maintaining communication with his friends. It would be a poignant moment for Poe to graduate to the next level of his journey with the Furious Five there to support and encourage him, similar to how parents send off their child to college or a new chapter in life. At number 4, Mr. Ping's New Life with Foruzen. Mr. Ping has been a key character in the Kung Fu Panda franchise since the beginning, and his relationship with Poe has been an integral part of the story. In the TV series The Dragon Knight, it was revealed that Mr. Ping was once a pirate who faked his own death, and his new life with Foruzen should definitely be explored in the upcoming movie. It would be great to see how Poe and Mr. Ping's relationship has evolved since the first film and how Mr. Ping's new life has affected his role in Poe's adventures. Given that multiple characters are confirmed to return, it would make sense for Mr. Ping to stay involved in Poe's journey and offer his wisdom and guidance along the way. At number 3 characters from the television shows should appear. Since the franchise has grown to include several TV series, there are now a lot of new characters that have been introduced into the Kung Fu Panda universe. From the Croc Bandits in Legends of Awesomeness to the Panda Kids in The Paws of Destiny, Po has met a diverse array of characters in his adventures. Kung Fu Panda 4 would be the perfect opportunity to revisit these characters and show how they have been influenced by Poe's legacy as the Dragon Warrior. As Poe prepares to step down from his role and pass the torch to the next generation, it would be interesting to see how these characters react to his departure and what kind of impact he has had on their lives. At number 2 more fight scenes with Kung Fu masters around the world. Since the third movie established that there are Kung Fu masters located all over China, it would be great to bring back some of these characters and introduce some new ones to help Poe and his friends fight against the Chameleon. With the Chameleon's ability to steal powers from anyone and anywhere, it makes sense for Poe and the other Kung Fu Masters to join forces to stop her. It would be exciting to see Kung Fu Masters from different schools and countries come together to help Poe in his battle. This could also open up the Kung Fu Panda universe to new possibilities and pave the way for the next two films in the franchise. It would be interesting to see how Poe interacts with these new characters and how they bring their own unique fighting styles and abilities to the fight. At number 1 one of the major characters may sacrifice themselves. DreamWorks animation movies have a reputation for taking risks and making bold storytelling choices, and it's possible that Kung Fu Panda 4 could follow suit by killing off a major character. While this may seem like a drastic move, it could have a profound impact on Poe's character development and the trajectory of the franchise. Master Shifu has been a constant presence throughout the series, serving as a mentor to Poe and helping him hone his skills as the Dragon Warrior. However, with Poe now assuming the role of spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace, Shifu's role may be reduced or even eliminated entirely. This could lead to a heart-wrenching moment where Shifu sacrifices himself to save the Valley of Peace, leaving Poe and the other characters to deal with the emotional fallout. While this potential plot twist may be difficult for fans to handle, it could also create a powerful and impactful moment in the movie. Given that Tai Lung is confirmed to return in Kung Fu Panda 4, Shifu may find himself facing off against his adoptive son once again. This could lead to a potentially devastating outcome for Shifu, who was nearly killed by Tai Lung in their previous battle. As Shifu's role in the franchise has evolved to mirror that of Ogwe's, it would be a fitting end for his character if he were to ascend to the spiritual realm or make a heroic sacrifice to protect Po. While Shifu's departure from the franchise would be a sad moment, it could also create an opportunity for Po to grow and evolve as a character, potentially taking on some of Shifu's mentor-like qualities himself. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really means a lot, and I'll catch you in the next one, take care.